ordinary horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver. The Lone Ranger. That might be the man, Tonto. But signs say Stephen Dunn Land Company. Could have changed his name. Probably would, as a matter of fact. Make it simpler to dodge all those people he cheated. Let's go have a talk with the gentleman. No one seems to be in. We'll make camp near here and try again later. We'll stay around a day or so and get acquainted with Mr. Stephen Dunn. Uh. I was just riding by and thought I'd stop and say hello. Can I give you a hand with that? No, no. How do you like the new roof? I'll have it finished tomorrow. You know, Padre, you're incredible. I can't do the things you do, and yet I'm a lot younger. How do you manage it? Well, I just stick with the Almighty. Be surprised what you can do. Lunch ready, Padre. Yes? Yes, thank you, Maria. Yes. Will you join me, Steve? Oh, thanks. I have to get back. Lots of people buying land, huh? Well, say there's uh, no hurry about my returning that journal I borrowed, is there, Padre? Oh. I'm uh, learning a lot by reading it about uh, titles and old land grants. You're probably learning much more than I did. My Spanish isn't very good. Well, it was nice of you to come in. Bless you, Steve. Thank you. Oh, say, uh, I've never been up in that bell tower. Mind if I have a look? Certainly not. You go on to lunch, Padre. See you later, Padre. Come on in, Scrap. Hello, Gus. Heard you wanted to see us, boss. I sure did. Got another ten-foot lined up, begging to be fleet. Oh, no. This is much bigger and far more profitable than selling worthless land. More profitable is what interests me. See this? It's the journal of a padre who built the Santa Maria Mission. He wrote it better than 300 years ago. So? It seems he came to these parts with some Spanish soldiers. They'd been to a mine somewhere and had a lot of gold. They couldn't all get back to Mexico because they'd lost most of their horses. So the Padre and some of the others settled down here and started the mission. And the gold? Scrap, you have a genius for getting right to the heart of a problem. Well, they melted down the gold with an alloy of some kind and made the bells for the mission. For the greater glory of God, the, the Padre writes. <laughs> the gold bells, they were the fortune. If it were true, everybody in the country would know about it, wouldn't they? Apparently, nobody bothered to read this but me. I just stumbled on it when I was at the mission, looking over some old papers on Spanish land grants. Sounds pretty good, huh, Scrap? Pretty good. Well, after this job, we'll all be fixed for life. All of us? Sure. Now, look, I've got a wagon waiting at the corral. It's loaded with rope. Wait a minute, Steve. I, I'd kind of like to investigate what you just said about all of us being fixed for life. Exactly how much do Gus and me get out of this? The usual 10%. <laughs> I won't fix me for life. That's what you always get. But you said yourself, this is a bigger job than we always do. Oh. What did you have in mind? Oh, I had in mind a three-way split. Well, you can just get it out of your mind. But, Steve, this is a tough one. Couldn't you do better than 10%? I might do a little better. This is going to be a three-way split. We'll do this on my turn. Not necessarily. Then we'll forget the whole deal. No, no. I like the deal. I like being fixed or life. Scrap, you're a fresh punk. Now, get out of here. I can get another man who isn't quite so big for his britches. Shots, Tonto. Sound come from over there. We better take a look. You said there was a wagon at the corral all rigged up. We can't stop for that now. We gotta stop for it now.
Dead. I wonder what this book is doing here. It's marked Santa Maria Mission. A page torn out, Kimasabi. Santa Maria Campana. Campana means bells. I don't like this title. It's bad enough the man we're after has been swindling people out of their money. But if he's planning to interfere with religion, that can hurt everybody. I'm going to take this book to the mission and ask some questions. You take him to the sheriff's office. I'll meet you there later. I've told you again and again that no one can come here bringing us anything but good. Then when he wear a mask, he come to kill us. He could kill us without wearing a mask if that's what he wanted. Why he wears it is his own business. Let me go. Thank you, Padre. I've come to return this book. I think it belongs to the mission. Oh, did Mr. Dunn give it to you? I found it at the land company office. I also found a man dead. That must have been Mr. Dunn. What happened? I don't know exactly. I heard shots at his office. By the time I got there, whoever killed him was gone. The book was on his desk. Oh. Rest in peace. Well, thank you for bringing it back. I'd hate to lose it. It's damaged slightly. The page is gone. Was the page missing when Mr. Dunn took it? Well, I don't know. I've never looked over this book very carefully. I speak so little Spanish that I've just glanced through it. Well, it doesn't matter too much. Seems to be a bit of the history of the bells. You know, they're over 300 years old, those bells up there. As far as we know, they've only missed being rung once. Indian massacre it was the only sort of thing that could silence them. Every day for 300 years. Twice a day. First thing in the morning, because we're grateful for a new day. Then again at 5, after the work is done, to remind us to be grateful for the blessings we've received. My, those are beautiful guns you have. Well, thank you. May I, uh, See one? Why, well, certainly, Padre. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to shoot it. Well, that's perfectly all right. Got my hands on it, and I just couldn't help it. You're quite a good shot, Padre. Well, time was when I could shoot the ears off of a bounding jackrabbit. With the rabbit running at full speed, too. Oh, bless you, my boy, for coming in. I'll get in touch with the sheriff and make arrangements for the funeral. Fine. Goodbye, Padre. Goodbye. You're a fool, Scrap. A crazy, hot-headed fool. All right, all right. I didn't come here to be preached at. How I'm going to cover up a murder, I don't know. What's so tough about it? With Sheriff Richards out of town, you're the acting sheriff. Why do you think Dunn had you volunteer as a deputy in this town? If it wasn't so you could fix things for us like you have in other places. Sure, I've fixed things for you before. But murder's something entirely different. Besides, I took my orders from Dunn. From now on, you take them from us. Don't ever forget, Mason. You're in things as deep as we are. And whatever happens to us, happens to you, too. Get inside there. Hurry up. We find murdered man in cabin. Bring him here. Boy, it's Steve Dunn. Any sign of how it happened or who did it? No sign of murder. Him dead short while when we find him. Well, me go now. Didn't give you much of a chance, did you, Engine? I noticed he was shot in the back. But me not shoot him. Get over there. If me shoot him, why me bring him to you? The smartest thing you could have done, Engine, to throw suspicion off yourself. That's what makes you engines dangerous. You're so cunning. Why me shoot him? You make big mistake. You're the one that made the big mistake, Engine, when you killed Don. Come on, we'll go out the back way. Come on, I'm gonna lock you up. What's going on here? All right, mister, get him up. Him think me do murder, Kimisabi. Oh, so this mask Al Hoot's a friend of yours, eh, Engine? Look, Sheriff, let me straighten you out on this. You can straighten me out when you're behind bars. And you're not going to look for the killers? I found them. Turn around. Scrap! Your friends are a little hard of hearing. Me get gun and knife. 
I'll plaster your faces all over the country. You'll never get away. We're not going to try to get away. We're going to try to bring in Dunn's killers. Come on, Toto. You'll find your gun outside by the hitch rail. What can I do for you? I wonder if we could camp outside your mission tonight. We've been on our way since sunup and we're tired. <laughs> you certainly may. I was about to have supper. Will you join me? No, we already had supper. Thanks. Where are you traveling to? Oh, we're going south. Looking for work? No. We're looking for gold. <laughs> Young men are always looking for gold. Well, bless you and have a good night's rest. Oh, Padre, we won't see you anymore then? I mean, after dinner, you don't go for a walk or anything? No, I usually go to bed very early. But if you want anything, the door is open. Well, you hardly keep a straight face when you told them we was looking for gold. You're one, all right. Best way to throw people. Tell them exactly what you're going to do. They never believe you. You know, I don't see any reason to wait until dark to get started. The Padre's out of the way. It's going to be a job to cut down those bells. The more daylight we have, the better off we'll be. Yeah, I guess that's so. Come on, we'll set up camp outside. I sure hope this thing comes out right. Well, you heard what the Padre said, didn't you? What? What'd he say? He said, bless you. So how can we stay? Hi. Nothing seems to be here, Tom. Wish I knew what was on that missing page. I wonder if Dunn tore it out of the journal. Maybe killers do it, Kimasabi. But why? If it was only the history of the bells, as the Padre said, who'd bother? It must have been something more important. Did you find anything outside? Uh, wagon tracks leading from Corral. Since that's all we've got to go on, we'd better follow them. Come on. Muerto? That means death in Spanish, don't it? Uh-huh. Don't suppose there's a curse connected with them, do you? Yeah, I do. I think all those hombres who let 300 years go by without stealing these things were sure cursed. Hey, here comes the Padre. You. Oh, but if we have to, we have to. Sabe? What do you want with the bells? We happen to like bells. Think you're the only one who wants bells to ring? What we do now, Kimisabe? Ground too hard to find tracks. You know, Tana, it was way past five o'clock. Ah, me no. Padre said he always rang the bells at five, and only something disastrous could silence them. I mean, no hear bells. We're close enough to have heard the bells if they'd been rung. That missing page, that had something to do with bells. We'd better get there in a hurry. Can you go get the wagon? I'll lower over the sides here. Hey, Gus, look.
Hello, Padre. Hello. We weren't far from here, and I missed hearing the bells. I remembered your saying that only something disastrous could silence them. Well, uh, something happened to the ropes. I couldn't ring them today. I see. When I didn't hear them, I thought something must be wrong. Me go find new rope for bells. Me come fix. Oh, uh, you needn't bother. I'll take care of it myself. It's no bother, Padre. I'll just come up and have a look. No, no, don't come up. There's nothing you can do. I'll, I'll take care of it. Glad to help. Thanks, just the same. Then we'll be on our way. Adios. Bye. You are a real good boy, Padre. Now, go get the wagon. Let's move fast. Why we stop here, Kimisabi? Something's wrong with the mission, fellow. How you know that? Did you notice how anxious the Padre was for us not to come up in the tower? Uh, him not one us very bad. Did you get a good look at the tower? Ah. Uh. How many bells did you see? Uh, one bell. That's right. When I was there this morning, there were two. What do you think happened to other bell? That's just what we're going to find out. Come on. That's a dunce. Why them want bells? Must be valuable somehow. No sign of Padre. Probably got him tied up in the tower. We'll have to wait and move very carefully. We can't do anything while either of them are up there. Might endanger the Padre's life. He's going to kill the Padre Maria. But yes, I see them too. They're going to kill us all. Come now, come quick. I tell you, nobody's going to kill the Padre Maria. You're only imagining things. I see them go by the house. I see his mask. His mask? Yes, one of them wearing a mask. So I go out the back, very quiet, and I come here quick. Was the other man with them an Indian? Yes, yes. You come now. You stop them. I'll stop them. All set, let's go. Glad now that Dunn made me sore. It's real nice having them out of the way and us getting it all ourselves instead of just 10%. Say, we better knock out the Padre. We'll need a good start. And if he's out for a couple of hours, he can't open his mouth, even if someone finds him. Gee, uh, I don't like the idea of hitting the Padre. You know, sometimes I wonder why you're still not home, hanging on your ma's skirts. Stay where you are. Take his gun, Tonto. Now untie the Padre. All right, you two. Unload those bells. Me free you, Padre. Better get in the house, Maria. There's going to be trouble. Si, si, senor. All right, get over there. Bless you, bless you. Why, oh, it's the sheriff. Here are your killers. The Padre will bear me out on that. I sure will. Well, I guess I owe you an apology, you and your engine friend. But everyone makes mistakes. Well, I guess we better tie these two owl hoots up. Got a rope around here? Here's a good strong rope. I can vouch for that. All right, drop those guns. Drop them, I say. Don't try anything, engine, or I'll plug your friend. Throw your gun down here. What are you doing, Sheriff? These are my friends. Why, they... Shut up. How about getting rid of these two? Get those bells back in the wagon. Don't want any shooting until we're all set to pull out. Then we'll finish off the Padre. Only everyone's going to think you and your engine friend did it. And I had to shoot you in self-defense. Remember, Sheriff, the wicked shall perish. <laughs>
feels like old times. This explains why they wanted the bells. The gold. Uh, that missing page? Must have fallen out of their pockets. No, oh, maybe I should spend more time in my library. Colonel, beginning to come to. Take this rope and tie them up. What do we do with him? Sheriff Richard's out of town. Oh, he's due back tomorrow. We've got a strong jail that'll hold him till he gets here. It's really gold? Yes, it's really gold, Maria. What we can do now? Why, we can even build a school. I told you no one could bring us anything but good. Why, that mess meant no come back from jail? No, no. Maybe he had more important things to do. You know where he go? No. You know very much about that man? No, but I know enough. The Indian told me. He's a lone ranger. Hello, Silver! Hello! 